People have always adjusted their living places and their lives to the demands of their surroundings. Weather characteristics dictate this lifestyle. So if you live in an area that runs a risk of hurricanes and strong storms, you need to secure your roof as much as you can. And hurricane ties present a higher level of security. In order to install them properly, you should apply a few steps. First, you should examine your roof and purchase the ties. When it comes to examining your roof, you need to inspect it for the diagonal beams. It is necessary to find connections between the horizontal beams and the diagonal beams. Measuring is also important as you need to buy the proper size of hurricane ties. You need ties for every point of connection between diagonal and horizontal beams. After examining and measuring, you can now purchase hurricane ties. H1 ties are an adequate choice as they are strong, long lasting and easy to work with and buy a few extra ties. The process of installing hurricane ties should be preceded by finding and marking all points of connection. That means connection points between horizontal beams running parallel to the ground, as well as the diagonal beams, which run from the horizontal beams up to the middle horizontal beam up above the beam, which is in the point of the roof. It is important to keep in mind that hurricane ties are installed in the places where the diagonal beams meet the horizontal beams. The following step presents positioning the hurricane ties in a proper way. As you can see, the ties have a gap. They need to be installed in the way that the gap or space in the tie faces forwards into the center of the house. You should attach the tie to the outside of the horizontal beam with a U-shaped gap pointing forwards, which is where the diagonal beam will fit. After positioning the ties, you should secure them by using a hammer and nails. There are some pre-drilled holes for nails in the base plate of the hurricane ties. You need to hammer the nails here. It is recommendable to use 2.5 inch long nails. In the case of short nails, the structural integrity will be negatively affected. So up until this point, you have secured the hurricane tie to the horizontal beam. In terms of the diagonal beam, it should fit the U-shaped gap in the tie. Then you need to take a hammer and nails to secure the diagonal beams to the hurricane ties. There are also the pre-drilled nail holes, so the process of hammering is basically repeated. This way you secure all diagonal beams to the horizontal beams using the hurricane clips. In the end, check every single tie. Shake everything to be sure that it's substantially constructed. You shouldn't miss a single nail. This is it. The process of installation of hurricane ties to your ceiling beams is over. You have secured your roof house against extremely strong winds for a long time. It is not that complicated, and it can mean a lot in those hurricane-like weather conditions.